Okay, guys, so I've had this car for 18 years now. Um, right around about 18 years. Um, when I first got it, it ran, but I couldn't really afford to do anything with the car. Um, I piddled with it a little bit here and there, did what I could. Um, but I had sold a previous Mustang I had, a Fox body, um, just in order to be able to buy this. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that just kept getting put on the back burner, didn't have the money, not now, can't do it now, you know, it's got to wait. Everything come before this. And, uh, you know, it's just time, time just flew by without being able to get to it. And, uh, you know, then I had kids and, you know, the kids obviously were more important. So, uh, I've just, I've had this car and, and just not been able to use it and I've not been able to do anything with it. Anyway, um, I moved into the place that we're at now, uh, approximately five years, four years ago, a little, little over four years ago. And, um, uh, when I moved over here, the car went from one garage to another and it's, sat there uh you know ever since the thing hadn't ran and i've had it for 18 years it ain't ran in 17 years so um you know it, it'll be a process even to see if it'll run again um i'm sure it will it's it's got a built engine in it um supposedly has a built transmission in it but it's got a stock rear end still has drum brakes in the front Anyway, let me show you what it is. All right, here's my baby. This thing hadn't been uncovered for at least five years. I haven't even seen it. All right, guys, so here's my baby. Now, most of y'all Ford nuts can probably tell what this is right off the bat. Some of y'all can't. Uh, but this is a 351 Windsor. So, um, not the best possible engine that could be in here, but uh, a good one nonetheless. I'm happy with it. And this thing is built. Um, I know you can't hardly tell looking at it now, but like I said, this thing has been sitting for, well, 18 years, hasn't run in 17 years, so, um, shouldn't expect it to, to look excellent, I guess. I, it's got headers on it, both sides, open headers, there's, there's nothing, uh, they're four to one, and there's nothing, um, connected from there on back at the moment but this is what i've got right now and i'm gonna go ahead i've got parts on the back of it so um but i'm gonna go ahead get that stuff uncovered and then i'm gonna get this thing out in the daylight um it it hadn't seen daylight since the day it was put here uh about four years a little over four years ago she's coming out to play all right, we got one Mustang out. Put where she belongs for now, anyway, till we get her fixed. And Monday, something else going in that spot. I got in here and took the back seat out. Forgot to turn the camera back on.
All right. This was just operation knock the dust off. Uh, nobody wants to work on a dirty car. So, and it's obviously still not clean. When I say knock the dust off, that's, that's all I did. It's not detailed. It's just wiped down. Get rid of the, all the dust and dirt. And uh, anything from any critters that might have been crawling in here. But anyway, we've got all that wiped down. So now it's clean enough to start working on on the inside. We got a lot of wiring and stuff to do. Uh, man, we got we got all kinds of stuff to do. I mean, who am I kidding? This thing is it, it's it's nowhere. It's we're starting at ground zero. We got to rebuild this entire car. So cleaning this up <laughs> and don't even put a dent in the project. I sprayed a little water on her. That's about it. About to soak it down and spray all that gunk off so we can kind of see what we're working with a little better. In case you're wondering, this is a full strength, heavy duty degreaser. And the reason why I'm using this is because this thing is absolutely teetotally filthy. And I'm not worried about it doing any damage to the paint or uh, anything else for that matter because this thing is 100% most definitely getting painted and probably a lot of body work. I, I hope it don't need a lot, but let's face it, it probably does. But either way, it's going to get body work and painted. So this industrial deep research is not going to hurt a thing. There's a very small chance that that camera is far enough away from this car that you think maybe the paint's not all that bad. Let me reassure you, the paint is all that bad. Uh, in case you were wondering, when I got this Mustang, I was living in Florida and some of it was bare metal. Um, so I had to do something about it. So I primered it and painted it with this uh, red mostly just to keep it from rusting um, and it was that BS you know paint shop dupli color stuff you buy at the local auto zone and I didn't have a paint booth obviously and I lived in Florida where everything's sugar sand so basically it was a sandstorm that I painted it in and you can sure see it and feel it I mean it's rough Really rough. Now, in case you're worried about anything under the hood, that's all getting yanked out and rebuilt too. So, no problem. That's going to conclude the knocking the dust off. And now I'm going to let this dry. And, uh, it's close to the end of the day already. So uh, we'll let this dry and then we'll come back next time I have a chance and we'll start, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's next guys, you'll just have to tune in.